The S26 Ultra may not get big camera upgrades, but the display is a whole different story. It's getting four major changes, and it'll completely change how you see this phone. So, let's get into it. First up, Samsung is finally using a M14 display panel on the S26 Ultra. The S25 Ultra didn't get this upgrade, but now it's here, and it comes with three big perks. The M14 gets brighter than the M13, so expect higher peak brightness, making it easier to see outdoors in sunlight. Second, it also uses less power, which is important since Samsung hasn't made the battery bigger this year. And finally, the display on the S26 Ultra should stay good for more years without getting dull compared to the S25 Ultra, so it'll be great for longevity. But the M14 alone doesn't make the Ultra special. Apple already gave it to iPhones last year. What really makes the S26 Ultra special is the new COE OLED, also known as on-cell film. Normal OLED screens use a polarizer layer that cuts down reflections but it also blocks light and drains the battery. The new COE OLED in the S26 Ultra removes the polarizer completely. Instead, it uses a special film that cuts down reflections without blocking any light. That means the screen is up to 1.5 times brighter without using more battery. And by dropping the polarizer, the panel's slimmer too. Samsung already used it on the Fold lineup, but this is the first time we're seeing it on an Ultra flagship. Apple, by the way, isn't planning to use this until 2027, so Samsung is way ahead here. And that's not all. With One UI 8.5, Samsung is adding another display trick you won't find on any other phone. Last month, a report mentioned that Samsung's adding a new tech called Flex Magic Pixel in the S26 Ultra. Basically, if someone is sitting next to you, they won't be able to peek at what's on your display without relying on any third-party privacy protection films. But thanks to One UI 8.5 code leaks, we know it's not limited to just certain apps. You can choose which apps you want to keep private, and even set a schedule for when you want the feature turned on. Pretty handy. Instead of waiting for AI, you can just set it for your office hours. All this gives you full control. And there's more. The code leak also shows two privacy levels. One is maximum protection, where the screen gets dimmer so no one but you can see it. You'll also get a manual mode. The code doesn't explain it fully, but it looks like you'll be able to set how much dimming you want. This is something we've never seen before on any phone. BlackBerry tried something like this years ago, but Samsung's version looks far cleaner and much more useful. And finally, the S26 Ultra is getting the third generation of Samsung's anti-reflective coating. This feature has been around for a while, but it still keeps Samsung ahead. Apple only started using it with the iPhone 17 series. And even then, Samsung's older coatings were already better. Put all that together, and the Ultra's display might be the best we'll see in 2026. Now here's the twist. The S26 Pro and the S26 Edge won't get the same upgrades. Reports say they'll stick with the older M13 panel, which means they'll lag behind not just the Ultra, but even Apple's newer phones. That's a big shift. Samsung wants the Pro to fight Apple's Pro, but only the Ultra is truly ahead. So yeah, the S26 Ultra looks like the display king, but Samsung's also taking a risky step that could backfire. Click here for the full story. This is Tech Ticks, and I will see you there.